back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a challenge. So basically the infants came out and I thought what a better time to do a new challenge which is the infants to adult challenge because obviously the teen to adult challenge is a thing but I thought we'd swap it out to be infants and like probably be really bad because I have no idea how it works with the genetics for infants to adults but I can imagine it not being great. So we are going to do this and uh, mm, I hope it'll be good. <laughs> doubt it. So of course we have a base sim and we're gonna go ahead and make this sim into an infant. Now I am gonna go ahead and make this sim a female because not gonna lie I already hate making male sims. This would go terribly if I did not do this if I did not make a female sim. So I don't really know how it works like I say because I've barely really made them and I haven't really played with them that much or anything so I don't really know how it works with how they age up but hopefully it's not like terrible or anything. <laughs> like hopefully we could do this and be mildly successful I don't know if that'll be true. We'll probably end up like literally crying my eyes out in a little bit But as of right now, I'm feeling hopeful. I feel like we could do this. I feel good Um, these eyebrows are a little bit drastic darling um, I do have some CC for the infants, but not too much So I'm gonna kind of use a bit of a mix match between like in-game and CC stuff So I don't really know like I don't the thing is right here's the thing darlings I don't know what an infant's meant to look like so I don't know how to make one in sims because I've never really been around an infant in my life and they kind of scare me. They're poopy and they're all soddy and they all cry and I'm like, I don't want to befriend you because how can you befriend one anyways? They just sit there in their own feces and that's it. So I don't really know how this is going to go because I don't know how to actually make a infant sim, but I'm kind of thinking maybe these eyebrows are they a little bit much. I don't know. Do they have eyebrows? Like, I no ideas. No ideas. Maybe if we go for like blonde, it looks like slightly less weird. Okay, so if you don't already know the toddler to adult challenges, by the way, basically you take a adult sim, then you age them down into a toddler and then you basically basically do all of their facial features, move them around, and then once you've done all that, you age them back up into an adult, and they tend to look very odd. The thing is, is basically, the way it works is for some reason, the change between like toddlers or infants, in this case, to adults, is very drastic. It's always very difficult to kind of like do stuff because the ability to like move stuff around when sims are this young is pretty much impossible. For example, like I can't really move the nose that much, even though like if this was an adult, it would do a lot. So basically, if I do this on the child sim, on the adult, it's gonna be like very drastic so it's very difficult to get this right and I'm kind of nervy because um like I said I'm not very versed in them yet I haven't even seen one of them age up so I don't really know how that works or anything kind of think of maybe these lips honestly they're so teeny like they're so difficult to like grab onto because they're so small I tend to give my sims quite pudgy cheeks so I kind of want to do that for the sim because I just do that normally anyways so I'm gonna try and make a sim that kind of looks like my own but also like I hopefully looks pretty good like I don't know also we're gonna go with some bigger ears because I do love some bigger ears I don't really know like what I'm going for here. This is so difficult. Honestly, this is harder than I thought. I thought I'll just do this video. Like it'll be pretty simple to do. Like, you know, it's just like a little challenge that would be kind of fun. No, no, this is apparently quite challenging. So yeah, um, maybe like that for the mouth. I don't know. Like the thing is, is they have very teeny lips. Like my sims tend to have quite big lips, but like I can't make them any bigger. Like this is the extent of big lips. I think if we just kind of like move around the nose and stuff, again, like the side profile, I don't really know about. I guess this looks like a side profile. Like, I don't know. This could be totally wrong for all I know but I think we'll go for like a bit more of a bigger nose like that maybe and then oh god okay and then maybe move that like that or something I just kind of want to make like a cute infant and then like we're just gonna have to hope when it becomes <laughs> when it becomes a uh, an adult but I think so far she's looking really cute I think we'll go with this for now and then I'm gonna add some skin details of course so I do have a few we'll go with this one and then honestly these freckles are adorable so I think we'll go with that she is so cute okay I'll, I'm also kind of thinking maybe we'll go with a little birthmark as well because I just I love the birthmarks they're so adorable that little heart one is killing me. We'll go some little teeth like this. Okay, she's adorable. She's looking really cute. I feel like this could go well. I feel like this could work. Obviously some eyelashes and also a bit of blush as well. Something like that is really cute. Oh my god, she's actually adorable. Okay, I kind of love her. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous now. Like, I'm actually starting to like how she looks. So, like, I'm kind of nervous that when we age her up, she's gonna look really not the same. Maybe we'll go with some different eyes. So, I'll probably just use my default. Kind of thinking maybe green or something, just because I don't do it very often. So, I think we'll go with that. I don't really have that many options for hair because I haven't really downloaded that much CC for them yet, but I'm kind of maybe thinking we'll go for a blonde sim. Honestly, she's so adorable. I'm kind of loving her already. I'm kind of thinking this one because I think this hair is so freaking cute and I just love it so much. So we'll go with that. And then for the outfit, they do have really cute outfits, I must admit. Like, I'm not a big fan of them, but they do have pretty freaking cute outfits, okay? So something like this with the little frog. I have a CC is so cute, but I kind of want to match the pink on her little bow. So, oh my God, a little suit. Shut up, that's so cute. It's so dumb. I'm not going to do that. 
but it's adorable. Oh, honestly, the overalls are so cute, but they are like the ones that are for toddlers as well. So I kind of want to use something different. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite outfit that comes with growing together for infants. So I think we'll go with this. Maybe we'll go with some little white socks as well, which look adorable. And some little like pink shoes as well to match. And I feel like that's possibly everything. I could give her some glasses or honestly a little, oh, a little like a, what do you call them? <laughs> What is this called again? I forget. Uh, I guess it's a pacifier for Americans. A dummy, that's it. Do I call it a dummy? I don't know. This is the thing. I know nothing, darling, but I think that looks pretty cute. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to leave it without. But okay, let's just like go back in, adjust some minor things, see if we can do anything else. I feel like if I'm like making a sim that I normally would make, I feel like this is how I would make them, if that makes any sense. So I feel like this is what we're gonna leave it as. So her name is gonna be Paisley. That's such a cute name. Paisley Hunt. Oh my god, no. Paisley Roy, and she's gonna use she, her pronouns. She's also apparently a, uh, it's a calm sims. That's cool. So this is little Paisley as an infant. She's really cute. I feel like she looks quite stern, but it's because I wanted to kind of give her more of a face that, like, I would give her an adult so that she doesn't look too weird aged up or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and save her to the gallery. Oh my god, look how cute she is. She's so adorable. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and age her up into an adult or a teenager, actually, because I think sometimes, like, the chin doesn't, like, it doesn't actually change. I don't know. It's very odd. But we're going to go and hate her up and see how she looks. Hopefully she's cute. Ah, okay. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. So let's go to a child first. I think that's the best way of doing it. And then we'll go to a teen. So this is how she looks as a child. I'm not enjoying this, but the, the face thing there. But that's her as a child. And we're going to go ahead and age her up into a teen. And hopefully she looks pretty cute. Please be adorable. Oh my God. I feel like she's not going to be adorable. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh my God. Please be cute. <gasps> please be cute. Oh my God. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm, give me a second. Mm, give me a second right now. Seriously, I'm, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Okay. <gasps> okay, she's really cute. She has no chin. Uh, yeah, she has the, the no chin thing, which is fine. It's just something that happens a lot in Sims for some reason. So other than that, she's really, really cute. So let's give her a bit of a makeover now. Kind of want to use some of the stuff that we used for her as a kid so that we can kind of get it across a little bit better. But honestly, I don't know what I used. <laughs> so that might be a bit difficult. I think maybe we'll go some brown eyebrows. And also I'm going to move her eyebrows a little bit because I feel like eyebrows is something that you can move even though it's very difficult to do so but like i'm just gonna pretend anyways and we're gonna give her like the same skin detail and everything so that we've got as much like kind of across as possible oh actually i'm gonna actually age her up into a young adult i just realized before I, I continue okay i don't know if she's changed that much but that is her as an adult rather than a teenager i guess she's kind of changed yeah she, her eyes have shrank of course because eyes do shrink when you become an adult that's not true you don't hit 18 and all of a sudden your eyes go smaller i don't think anyways i never personally noticed that myself but maybe that is a common thing. I don't know, but <laughs> I think these freckles look really cute. And we'll just obviously give her some of the details that I tend to use for my Sims to try and get a bit of a look of my normal Sims. There we go. I think she looks really cute. So I just want to check. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I never even looked at her side profile. I totally forgot. But yeah, she has like a really cool nose. Yeah, that's her side profile. And this is her from the front. She's actually really cute. I think, like I say, the only thing I probably would change is just like do that, I guess. And like that would probably be a bit more like my normal Sims. But like, it's fun making sims that look different. So like, I will take it, you know? I'm glad that she looks different to my normal sims. Also, her eyes are so stunning. Like, I'm actually in love with her eyes. Like, I literally love them so much. I think I'm honestly just gonna keep her with my default eyes. I don't normally do that, but I just like those ones a lot. So we'll do that. We'll give her some blush, of course. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like I've ever made a sim without blush. It's quite actually um sad, but here we are. <laughs> I feel like I kind of want to keep the same sort of aesthetic and color scheme that we had for her as a kid. So I think I'm gonna give her like some cute, eyeliner. I'm kind of thinking some like colorful eyeliner. Okay, I think this makeup's pretty cute. I wanted to go for something a little bit different than I would normally do, although I say that, but I also like literally just use this eyeliner. But like just, shh, okay, just don't even, okay, because I just sat there for so long trying to figure that out. So like just don't. So obviously she's blonde. I mean, we could like dye her pink, but like, mm, I mean, to be fair, that looks great. But like, I don't know. Mm, we'll see. Okay. I kind of like the blonde. I'm not sure, but we'll keep the blonde for now. And she had like that really cute hair as a kid. I don't really think I've got anything like that, to be honest. We could probably get something sort of similar. I don't think it may be this hair by Sims Trouble. It's a new one. I don't know. I think that looks really cute. Like, I feel like, you know, if I, I'm not sure about the pink, but I do think it looks really good. So I am kind of thinking that one. Or well, actually, I think that looks really cute. I mean, that's kind of a bit of a, <laughs> a difference, but I think that looks really cute in the blonde. And like, I don't know. I just really like that. So I'm kind of thinking that. And then I'm also sort of thinking maybe even some headphones or like some sort of hat would look really cute. I really love this hat, but I hate how it like adds this shadow. Like, it just drives me mad. So I haven't really used it 
yet because it just looks kind of weird to me. Oh, I do have these little earmuffs that look really cute. So I think I'm going to go with these. And then let's do her outfit. So I'm kind of thinking maybe a full body outfit would look cute. Also, I totally forgot to change her body type. That was my bad. I honestly did not even think to change it, which is really stupid. Um, Oops, okay. So I'm thinking like a short dress would look really cute on her. So honestly, something like this or like if this came in pink, this would be adorable, but it doesn't, unfortunately. I think this dress is so cute with the little cardi. I really like that a lot. So I think I'm going to go with this. And then I'm kind of thinking some tights. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I use tights every single time. And I'm not afraid to admit that I use them every single time because there is something about these gosh darn tights. They're the cutest things to ever exist in the entire world. And I just have to use them even though like, would I ever wear these? No. Do I love them so much? Yeah. So I'm going to go with them. Okay. You have no right to judge, although you kind of do, but still. And then I'm kind of thinking some a little leg warmers as well because once again, I'm so crazy like that. And I use these every time because like, look at them. They're so cute. Okay. You can't even judge me at this point. This outfit looks really cute with the little leg warmers. I maybe think it may be the pink shoes. I'm not sure. I'm not very, I'm not, I'm not good at shoes. I find them very difficult. They always feel like the hardest part to me, but I think that they look pretty cute. Maybe those ones. No, we'll go with, no, I kind of hate them. I don't know. Oh dear Lord. Okay. Um, there's gotta be some, <laughs> I think she just has very, very, very teeny feet. Like, I don't know how she's standing up right kind of teeny feet, you know? Okay. I think those shoes are pretty cute. So we'll go with them. And then let's maybe do some tattoos. Oh wait, we already have a tattoo. Huh? How did you? Okay. We already have a little heart. I mean, sure. I mean, I don't really want to use that. <laughs> Might just get a little bit of highlighter on a face like that as well. I think that those tattoos look really cute, especially this one in the middle looks adorable. So we'll go with that. And then maybe just some glasses on a head like that. And then we'll go with a necklace, of course. Maybe we'll give her some piercings because I really want to because I can't help it. And I have this like just absolute need to give every single one of my Sims piercings. Although we could even give her like a little bit of like pink through her hair or is that a little bit extra? Do I really need to do that? No. Should I? No. Would I? No, maybe I will though, because it does look pretty cute. I don't know. Is it a bit far? We'll leave it. I'll leave it. Okay, I'll leave it. <laughs> I will refrain myself, okay? Oh, we could even do some little buns in her hair like that. That looks so cute. Yes, definitely that. Fortunately, none of the nose piercings really fit her nose, so we don't be able to do any of those, but maybe a lip piercing, although because her eyes are set out on the skin details, I actually don't think we can. We'd go with the little angel bites or whatever you call them, which are really cute, but I don't know if it really suits the sim that well. So maybe actually just like a little lip ring like that fits and also some earrings of course as well okay you actually can't do the earrings so we will leave them unfortunately but yeah i think this is the final fit oh no i'm not even done oh my god who am i kidding i haven't done nails uh excuse you um let me do that first thank you there we go okay now i'm done um <laughs> sorry crisis averted so this is paisley i feel like she so suits that name by the way let's just go ahead and randomize her trait so she is a gloomy bookworm glutton and she is into one in a mansion apparently and i think she's really really cute i definitely think that considering we made her from an infant i feel like we did a pretty good job and by we i mean me because you guys just sat there and did nothing you lazy sods so yeah i think she's so cute let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and let me know if you want me to do this challenge again maybe with a male sim or maybe just again in general because this was really fun and remember to like and subscribe to whatever you want let me know if you guys try this out for yourself it's definitely an interesting challenge and I'll see you guys in the video. I love you guys. Good.